I mean, I look around real quick to make sure there's not any immediate threat. Well, you notice two more unconscious people. Are they elves? No. I uh, guess they, they just bought elven rope. No, they are, are uh, two humans. Uh, do you, do you want to? I'll look at them in a minute. Okay. All right. Good news, bad news. Good news. Make it up the stairs. Bad news. Gonna need to run. Uh, do you have rope to drop down for us? You, you, you did, you, you tested this rope, yeah. but you left it. Yeah, I know, I didn't actually take it with me. Crap, <laughs> probably should have thought of that, shouldn't we? Uh, the, the stairs here uh, have now reset. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I guess I'll do an athletics just check I, to run I, up I, it. I was gonna say, can, can everybody give me a, or can you two down on the ground there do a, a quick perception check about the stairs resetting? Yeah. Because it kind of makes a chunk noise. And so you turn and you look. 17. Okay, so you see that the uh, the symbol of the bat flashes red as it resets. Okay. Rex, you know what might be easier? Hand that rope to Anita and letting her run up with her, you know, legs. I thought, do you have more rope or do you need me to pull the other rope? No, 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 she's got her own rope. I've got my rope. Okay, well, I'm gonna pick up my own rope. Okay. And I'm also gonna grab the elven rope. Um, just okay. because so gonna, this seems like this, yeah. this seems like a good thing to have. Yeah. All right. Well, they're messing with that. I'm going to go ahead and go look at the unconscious guys. Okay. As you approach the two un unconscious humans, uh, you can tell that these two uh, don't appear to have tumbled down a stairwell. These two appear to have been heavily wounded in battle, and based on the pooling of their blood, they've been here for some time. All right. I guess I don't have a choice on this. No, wait, I do have a choice. Uh, their packs have been slashed open and their gear is scattered. I'm going to go ahead. Gosh, Duggart, I can't actually leave them like this. So I'm going to go ahead and try to cure the weaker looking one. And I mean that in terms of physical strength, not in terms of whoever's blood. It looks like they bled out. Yeah, like the guy is clearly an expert swordsman from the huge, uh, like, what do you call that? Scabbard or whatever? Mm -hmm. Chief? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sword hole? Yeah, so he's got the sword holder, but the sword is nowhere in sight, and the other guy's weapons don't seem to be there either. Okay. I'm still going to, I, I, I'm gonna heal the other guy first. Okay. I get it, so. Okay. And I try to pull my punch on the healing so that he's relatively weak, just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you get the sense that he's like, he's barely conscious, and uh, Hold up, hold tight there, feller. I'll be uh, bit with you in a second. And uh, when he when he stirs, he kind of flips over a little bit, and you can tell that he's wearing the colors of Texas D and M, uh, and his belt buckle has a huge D ampersand M on it. Am I the only person in my friggin' history department who looks into this crap? I need to roll to heal the other guy too. Yeah. I got it. The other guy also kind of stirs. Uh, as he kind of lifts himself up, you can see he's like trying to feel for like appendages, weapons. The appendages are there, the, the weapons aren't. Uh, he's like looking at his bag, which has been slashed open, and like clearly whatever's left is stuff that nobody, you know, there's stuff that everybody already has. So like there's a little bit of food or whatever, but he's, so these two Texas D&M guys are just uh, they're, they're leaning against the cliff face. They're, they have no interest in moving because they know they're pretty hurt. Yeah. I've tucked these guys sort of in with the statues and stuff, so. Probably the time it took me to do all that, you've at least attempted the stairs. Yeah, so are you uh, moon jumping? Me? Yeah, moon jump you. So uh, okay. if you screw it up, you won't get knocked unconscious okay. with the only person who can't hail you. What sort of is, would agility work for this or does it have to be athletics? What are you attempting to do? Basically just kind of dash up the stairs as fast as I can before the... Uh... Okay. You're just running up stairs for the first 30, uh, or yeah, for the first 30 feet or so, and you do you feel it starting to get a, a little bit more slippery uh, when you get to about the the uh, 55 foot mark, because you're, you're just all out sprinting, whereas Ricky was kind of cautiously, you know, looking at it. Uh, the stairs are slippery enough that they just all, all of a sudden kind of go chunk and they, they turn into a slope. Uh, so you're gonna try and dive the last five feet. Yeah. So this is a relatively straightforward thing. Six. 
you do manage to grab the ledge, uh, but yeah, the, the frictionless thing, you kind of like move forward and back, you're flopping around. Whee! So I run over and yank her up. With someone else's help, a six is good enough, given how close you were. Okay. Uh, if that didn't work, I was gonna use my, I, I was gonna use one of my glue trap potions on my feet, so. But you didn't have to. I prefer not having to do that. Okay, yeah. she just prefers to brag about how smart she could have been. So <laughs> you two are at the top of the stairs now. Rex, you notice that as the stairs reset here, not only does that symbol of the bat glow red again, but out of the corner of your eye, you notice the symbol of the face over here glows blue. Hmm. Mm. Well, it ain't gonna matter. I'm gonna start lowering the rope. Nita, would you mind going and checking on the two guys that are over there? I had to heal them up because I figured they were probably gonna bleed out if I didn't. The one of them that's kind of the stronger looking one has like started like rip, his shirt's already torn and he, from where he was stabbed and stuff, he's starting to rip off pieces of fabric and trying to like bandage up the other guy and the other guy is just kind of lolling. He's barely awake. Uh, uh, hey, hey bros, um, dudes, uh, what's up? <sighs> Wait, are you gonna stab us? Uh, I'd really rather not. Don't give me a reason to, okay? Okay, so you're not with the elves then? Elves? I mean, I am an elf, but like... Yeah, we, uh, we fell down some stairs and they ambushed us. Wasn't a good idea to fall down the stairs. Wasn't a good idea to get ambushed. Two bad ideas in a row, but we had a good idea. We thought when we came here, we heard that the lost baseball of Pank Perrin was here. And so we're trying to retrieve it. But we knew that there would be competition from other schools. So we just kind of got a little bit sloppy trying to race to the top. And uh, can you can you help us with these with these bandages? You can tell that his he's uh, he's in bad enough shape that even just like trying to talk, he's exerting effort, yeah. and like his wounds are like not doing well. So so just to confirm, you're looking for the lost baseball of uh, Pank Perrin, famous Texan ball player. Okay, we, we here, that. here. Each of you can have a healing potion. How powerful are, are these potions? They are 2d8 healing, so... Oh, wow, these are, these are some pretty yeah, these, good... Yeah, I, I, these are my second level. Yeah, go ahead and, and roll to see how good the potions you made were. Uh, five okay. for one of them, and three for the other. They're both looking a little bit better, but... Uh... I mean, at least, at least they're, you know, not gonna bleed out. So tell me about these elves. We think the Elvish University must have gotten the same scoop we did. Uh, but it's, they just, uh, it's so fast. And uh, we, we were trying to climb these stairs. Like, you know, I guess the, these were trapped or something. And so we fall down these stairs and then at the bottom, they're just, they just pounce on us and, and then we just weren't ready. Man, I knew my alma mater was cutthroat, but you, you can tell that they actually haven't had their throats cut. So that might mean that the people aren't actually as cutthroat as, as you might fear, or it might mean they were pulling their punches and not trying to actively murder another group of academics. It's unclear. Uh, by this point, I assume that I've gotten you, Rex you, pulled. And yeah, you yeah. pulled him up. That, no real challenge there. Right. Hooray. So uh, one of them kind of looks at you guys and goes, Wait, why, why, why did you pull him up with the rope? Those stairs weren't trapped. And he points at this one over here. It's these ones you gotta worry about. And you notice that uh, these steps, the, the first step here has a symbol of the, the, uh, the, the, the penguin god's glasses. And this one has the symbol of the Roman heart. And they're pointing at the one with the glasses symbol as being the trapped one. Okay, so, so I how high think up is the I next tier? just just look at Ricky. Just quickly looks up. It, it, it's the same. It's another sixty feet. I so think good. I think I understand what's going on here with this trap. Could you do your like moon unit thing on me real quick? All right, so I get moon jump to uh, uh, Amanita. Amanita. Yes, and 
I'm going to try to go up the other staircase um, and basically... Okay, well, so, so y y you are telling them this plan or you are doing this? I am doing this. Okay, where are you guys standing while she's doing it? I guess Rex needs to stick close to her and I... Okay. Yeah, I, I, I just basically say, we'll be right back. I think she's got an idea. Okay. So, so yeah, these two guys are just gathering their stuff. And basically, if the staircase starts to turn into a slide, I just go with it and slide back down. Okay. And so, uh, you just so you know, this staircase does align with that staircase. So, so, so you two might want to stand between the. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna take a couple steps back. Okay. And just, I guess I'll pick Rex up and hold him out over the staircase to make sure that, that, that she's still in range. Okay. So, so the, the, that sounds great. You won't be off balance and tumble backwards at all if somebody comes in and flies at you at high speed. <laughs> okay, great. So, Amanita, you start proceeding up here, and you get to the 30-foot mark, and you notice that things are getting a little bit slicker, but it doesn't seem to ramp up as quickly. And you get to the top without incident. Okay, as I do this, I look down and see if any of the pictures are flashing. So, uh, I mean, I guess we so, see so after, after you get to the top, the, this stairwell then also turns into a slide and then reverts. But it flashes blue and this one flashes red. Go up this one. So uh, Ricky, just for your trap finding knowledge, you can tell that they, inten they, they intentionally built the same trap into both stairwells to make them difficult to uh, assess magically, but that they're on different timers now. That makes sense. So I set Rex down. Before I go up the stairwell, I kind of mosey back over to the Texas guys. Mm -hmm. uh, if you fellers think you can make it down, I, I point to the one that is relatively, the, yeah. to, to the vampire one. That should probably get you fellers down safishly. There's a couple of orcs tied up on the uh, floor below because I wasn't sure what was going on. Uh, Y'all might just want to hang out down there, uh, mostly because I have no idea what's going on here and y'all are kind of beating the... D d the dickens up. They kind of like, you know, they, they've kind of shoved what they can of, of their gear. They're, they're left with like mess kits and bottles of water and, and whatnot at this point. They don't have any rope or grappling hooks or weapons at all. And uh, they're just kind of like, well, yeah, I guess uh, it, it might be a little bit tough getting back across the river, but we can wait for you at the bottom. If you guys can help us out. We'll, well we also kind of sort of took the ropes, so... Uh... Okay. Unless you're the fellers that, that strung up the ropes that are going across. And they're like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's us. We just, uh, you know, in Texas, we're really tough. We just kind of hand over hand across. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, if we see your baseball thing, we'll grab that for you. And if we know what's up with that, we'll let you know. But I'd wait down there because I'm sure we're going to be hauling back some unconscious elves before this is all said and done. Wait, so why are you here? Uh, so that's, class we are that's classified. Aren't you here for the baseball too? No. Fellers, what I think has happened here is what is known as a honey trap slash gorilla game show. Okay, so they just kind of nod and like they but understand I, I, what you're I'm talking about. If, you, if the two orc fellers down there wake up, if they mention anything about a guitar, don't be surprised. These guys go safely down these stairs. Once they get to the bottom, it does the chunk noise again, but mm -hmm. they're not. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just going to get moon jumped and just sprint up the stairs with it to join Anita and then we can get Rex, so. You? I run 20 feet per second, they both run 30. Cool, well I was gonna say, based on the, t the amount of time it took before it actually chunked into place, mm -hmm. y you're pretty sure Rex could just okay. walk up. Okay, so I hustle up. Okay, so, yeah, so Rex just hustles up. All right, uh, I was gonna say we're an hour into this and we just got up the stairs. Yeah. So, uh, dungeon! Journey, yeah, welcome to dungeon running, Joe. Yeah. You probably should have thought about uh, this. Yeah, I, there's actually a dungeon here too with like yeah. rooms that we're gonna get to. So uh, now that you're on, on, uh, all on the third landing, uh, you notice that one of them has the symbol of a, a sword, and one of them has a symbol what of What is mind. them? Uh, one of the first steps. Okay. Yeah. 
And it's, it's the same thing, probably. Sword and a what? And, and like a symbol for the mind, like a brain with like radiant energy type of, like carvings of radiant energy. There's no actual magic coming out of it. But like... <sighs> right. I guess same plan as before. I'll do the running this time. Sounds legit. All right. So which one are you going to go up? Um. Do you want to reflect on anything you've noticed? I'm, I'm going that. to take the sword because I assume that's the one on the left. This so wait, it's a bat and so a this, vampire. This one has, this one has a, a bat on the it. The vampire was the safe one. one. And then it was... This one had the, the, the god glasses symbol. The other one and this one heart. had a heart. Vampire heart. I'm just gonna go up the mott stair and when it turns out to be a trap, I'll just do the same thing I did the first time around. And then we can just take the other stairs. And that's exactly what you do. You, you go up the sword stairs, it's a trap, you slide back down. You, you knowing this, and these stairs actually kind of face toward each other, they don't face back down. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you slide down, you got a ton of momentum, and you just zip right up the next one. There we go. And uh, you guys are now at the, the entrance room of the temple.